day of a great, astute Nigerian, a man that I call a visionary. Because in this time and age, it is very rare to see people that have a vision. I say vision because I know what I'm saying. I think those are the kinds of people we need to celebrate in this time. Put your hands together for Baba today. Baba Tunde Olaleri Gadamasi is 51 years old today. Wow. He looks really young. For me, I would think he's older than that. We have a lot of guests in the house, a lot of dignitaries, family and friends. And today, we also want to know what they feel and think about Baba Tunde Olaleri Gadamasi. He's been a very good man. He's one of the greatest men I have known, I have met and worked with. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, some have greatness thrust upon them. He has it all, he was born great. He, he, we are all from a great big family, the Balamosis of Ikorodu. It's something wonderful to be here wow, to celebrate the 51st anniversary, birthday anniversary of Baba Tunde Badamosi. We thank God for sustaining his life and we thank God for what God has proposed him to do even in the life of this state called Lagos. I'm counting on the fact that many of you want to be more prosperous. Counting on the fact that Lagosians, whether they are indigenous or not, did not come to Lagos to inspect a co bridge. Third mainland bridge, even though it's the longest bridge in Africa, is not the reason why many people are hustling in Lagos day after day. Yes or no? Everybody wants their work to be more profitable. Yes? Yes? Everyone wants a better life for themselves and for their children. Well, for those of you that have never been to MLS before, I deliberately invited you here today to see what is possible, what is doable in Lagos. And I must remind you that everything you see in Cayman Estate was not built with taxes. It was built without loans. We do not collect personal income tax. We do not collect land use charge. We do not collect company's tax. We do not collect lock-up shop. We do not collect motor park dues. We do not collect abattoir taxes. We do not collect all those other taxes, levies, rates, charges, and fees that government collects and yet every resident of Indian Estate has enjoyed for the last eight years 24 hour electricity. Every resident of Indian Estate for the last eight years, anytime they need water, they just turn on their tap and water comes out. Nobody has ever had to take a pocket from their house to their neighbor to go and fetch water. You will never see a pocket on anybody's head in this Amen Estate. And you will never see flooding in this Amen Estate. For those of you that are driving, you drove on smooth roads. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm interested in the governorship of Lagos State because everything you see in the United States, that is exactly what I want to do for Lagos. And I tell you this, I tell you this, it's going to be 
way easier to achieve it in Lagos. Why? Because Lagos actually takes taxes from all of us. Every single one of us works. We are the monkeys at work and the baboons are putting on the top. The good works of a man would always speak for him. And um, this is a time for Lagosians to wake up and see reasons to take the governance of Lagos back from the, the, the enslavers. We have to take it back and we have to wake up to reality. And we have to really, really, you know, stand up to the fact that we need somebody of somebody that is highly experienced, somebody that can do it better. And this man is not just saying it. He has done it and he's going to do it again. I always say that if you want to look at a person, you look at the person wholesomely. You look at what the person has done. Because that's the scorecard that people can look at and trust that you have the metal to do what you say you want to do. So for me, I can see what he has done with Amen Estate. If you can replicate this around Lagos, what do you think Lagosians' lives will be? There will be order, there will be you know, so many things that he will be able to achieve. If just a fraction of what he has achieved here, he can achieve in the whole of Lagos. People who are in Lagos to come to MN Estate and see what is happening. If one person can be able to bring London to Nigeria in partnership with his wife, if they can do this together, how much more if he has everything at his disposal to do better things for us? Our program is very simple. Lagos is expensive to live in because everything doesn't work. Transport is expensive because the roads are bad and there are no alternatives. Doing business is expensive because you have to run generator to keep your business afloat. You buy petrol, you buy diesel. Okay? Healthcare is expensive because communicable diseases that could have been avoided have been proliferated by bad government policy. There is no central sewage. It means simple diseases related to hygiene, typhoid, cholera, and other things like that. And other diseases like that spread very easily in Lagos. And we can avoid them. So my plan is to take, first of all, the six most industrialized local governments in Lagos. That will be Iketa, Abapa, Osho di Solo, Moshi, Ibejuleki, and Ikorodu. Those six local governments plus two additional local governments for other reasons. Badagri and Etiosa. Those ones will be part of the program because of their tourism potential. Those are the eight local governments that we're going to be implementing what we call the Lagos Integrated Regeneration Plan. His program is so wonderful. The way he wants to move Lagos forward. And it's not just by talking. All right, thank you very much. He has experience you, we appreciate doing it. Lagos State should listen to him and vote for him at the coming election. He's a very intelligent, versatile man. And that is why we here believe in him. That's why we are here to support him. We all need a man like him. He's a good director, he's intelligent, he's, he's honest, he's loyal, and he has the expertise we all need in a governor. We are glad to have such a man with great vision contesting for the post of the governor in our dear Lagos. Every road, every street, in every neighborhood, in all of those local governments, will be redesigned where necessary, rebuilt where necessary, and pedestrian access will be introduced to the Lagos road construction culture. So in your street, you will now have pedestrian access. Instead of open gutters, if you look out at the street in Amen Estate, 
you will see that the drainage is all covered. This is the way to build in a city with any type of modern aspirations. 24 million people, no light, no water, bad public hygiene, bad schools, bad hospitals. Everything can be fixed. If he is being given the opportunity to become Lagos State's governor, he's going to do wonderfully well. Lagos State is going to be a city that is better than Dubai. That's if BOG is being given that opportunity. Because he knows Lagos, he knows how to move it forward, he has the experience. I'm very sure, very confident, Lagos will have it much more better than we're having it now. And it's tough, you can see, it's loaded. So you can bet, everybody can bet that Tunde Brother Mossi, BOG will transform Lagos. He has all it takes to move Lagos State to the next level. He has done it. MN Estate is a proof that he can do it. This is a man who brings Lagos into that mega city we are talking about. He's somebody who has the vision and the direction. He's not corrupt. He has been directing the affairs and we have been following and things have been working. The and these are the kind of the people we want. He has passion for the state and he has his own focus. What he intends to do. There is nothing you see abroad. All the beautiful airports, the nice roads, none of it grew organically. It was all built. And that's what we plan to do with Lagos. Now, people are going to ask questions and say, how on earth are you going to find the money to do it? Well, I can tell you that the money is available. And I'll be correct in saying that. Because successive governments in Lagos have regaled us with tales of how they have grown the internally generated revenue of Lagos. And they have been correct. They have done that. They have squeezed us and squeezed us and squeezed us for every penny that we can afford to give. Even the one that we can't afford to give, they will force it out of us. I'm confident enough if he becomes, you know, the next governor of Lagos State, this godfatherism stuff would be a thing of the past. Because I'm very, very sure that it would definitely root it out. Definitely there will be a change when he gets into power. It won't be, this, it won't be the same one Sope or the Oracle said this or the Oracle said that. No. Definitely, it's going to be a change from the norm we have now. It's an Herculean task. I know that it's a uphill battle because there is a, a, a power that has been entrenched in the politics of Lagos. The Bible says all things are possible to them that believe. We believe in BOG. We believe in 2019 is our time. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm praying to God, keeping my fingers crossed, doing all I can within my own powers. Um, bringing on board some of my friends, some of my business associates, my customers to make sure this dream of BOG 2019 is a reality. So that BOG becomes the next governor. And that's why I'm here today. Yes, that's why I'm here today. For your unwavering support and unrelenting guidance that held the lead in our She's been a very wonderful person to the student world and um, we've been representing him in the student world and um, the old students of Lagos State are very happy and some of them are here to felicitate with him. A leader, very simple, down to hell. He's a very strong member of Redeemed Christian Church of God. He's a man of vision. One of the most wonderful people I've ever met in my life. He's very, very nice. He's very understanding, caring, and ready to listen to everything you have to say. He's very straightforward, very sincere, very, very articulate, and most especially very humble. He's humble to a fault. He's a man of excellence. He's a real jam. He's a man who has 
contributed immensely to the real estate industry in Nigeria. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My wish for Baba Tunde Olalere Badamosi is to, to have the next, to have his next birthday in, in State House as the governor of Lagos State. Fantastic. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm joining hands with him to make sure that is achieved. We are praying, not only me, we are praying fervently that God should answer that prayer. That's what we are expecting and that's what will happen. I'm very sure. By the grace of God, inshallah, it will hold in the government house. Allah sir. Almighty, we take him to greater heights and we allow him to fulfill his purpose and every desires of his heart, the Lord Almighty will grant him and his family in the name of Jesus. All I could say is that I wish him long life and good health. I wish him all the good things of life. I wish him good health and I wish him success in everything he lays hand upon. I wish him all the very best. I pray that all his dreams and everything he desires comes to pass. More life, more happiness, more success, and everything he'll wish himself. And uh, I'm pretty sure he'll get there. He's a good man. Everything he so wish himself the best. I wish him long life and prosperity, all the best. Good health, sound mind. Long life, good health. Wish him all the best. Oh, I wish him all the best. I wish him all the best as the next governor of Lagos. I believe strongly in him, and I know he will get there. I wish him all the success in this particular political endeavor. We will support him with everything we have. He's our man, we are his people, and we're gonna give him all the support he needs. I know at the end of the day, we will have cause to celebrate, we will have cause to rejoice, and the whole of Lagos will be better for it. BOG is our man. change we're all looking for you know something that will change the status for us pdp has come and gone apc in the struggle set right now they are giving us fair promises but right now we need to change a party a party that can do it for us which is adp we really need somebody who can make impact if yes then this is a man for the job this is a man 